So sometimes you may want to run ads to a book that you have not published on your own KDP dashboard. So for example, if you have a traditionally published book, or maybe you're running ads for books in a multi-author box set and you're not the publisher, there is a pretty quick and easy workaround so that even if you don't have KDP access to the book you wanna advertise, you can still run Amazon ads to that. And so what you wanna do is go to publishdrive.com, just real quick so you're familiar with it. Publish Drive is an ebook aggregator. So one that you might be more familiar with is draft to digital or D2D. Publish Drive does a very similar thing. You upload your ebooks to them, they publish it to different retailers, but this is possible to do even if your books are just on KDP. So you're gonna go here to Publish Drive and hit Accept All. You're going to create a signup account. And if all you wanna do is use their Amazon Ads dashboard, you still can set up an account. You don't need to put your books through here or anything like that, but you do need an account to at least get started. So once you have created your account, you just want to go to the dashboard where you can see your books. So we're at admin.publishdrive.com slash books. And like I said, it's totally fine if you don't have a book set up, you're not gonna have to do a lot of legwork or anything like that. We're just using this as a tool. And Publish Drive has welcomed authors even who aren't publishing through Publish Drive to use this tool. So once you're set up in here, click on the marketing tab. And what you're going to do is to go to Amazon advertising. You will see that it says paid. That's just because you're paying Amazon for the ads, just like you would if you were going directly through advertising.amazon.com. Publish Drive offers this free for you. So you're gonna go here to create campaign. And in most cases, you're just gonna tell them, no, your book is not uploaded yet to Publish Drive. And so you're just going to tell them the name of your book. So I'll use an example here. And they're just going to create a draft book. It's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. They're gonna do it for you. And then what they want is your book's ASIN. So to find that, you just find your book on amazon.com. And there's this snippet of like 10 or 12 letters or numbers right here. That's the ASIN. And so you just copy that put the ASIN in right here and they will search to kind of identify your book. And then basically everything else is exactly the same as if you were using the other dashboard. It's just that the dashboard looks a little bit different. So you can still name your campaigns. If you're going through the Amazon ads course that I have set up, you can definitely follow all of the steps there. It's just that you know, your, your dashboard is going to look a little bit different, but it's going to give you all of the same options to set your bids, your daily budget. It has automatic product where you can go by category or you can do individual products or you can search by ASIN. And then it has keywords where you can type in the genre, or anything like that. So everything that you need to know for like what to bid, what to name your campaigns, which kind of targeting to use, the course that you have on Amazon ads is going to walk you through all of that. And so I won't go into every single one of those things here. I just wanted to get you familiar because this dashboard does look a little different, but running the ads and setting the ads up other than the dashboard looking different is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the rest of the material covered in the course.